All right, so this is a screencast of the workflow that I use for Anki in medical school. So right now I'm doing some biochemistry studying. I have here open one of my favorite uh, e-readers, uh, which is called Inkling, and the book is Lippincott's Illustrated Reviews of Biochemistry. So right now I'm doing a little reading on uh, the citric acid cycle for step one studying. You can see here I have the I have this open, which is my book. And then down on my dock, I have Anki open at the same time. I also have the browser open for Anki, but I'll minimize that right now. So this is my standard, my standard setup when I'm studying. I'll have the the source of whatever I'm using. I'll have I'll have my Anki, I'll have my Anki window open. Let me get rid of this, clear it out. And I'll go through and I'll read I'll read sections and then extract facts. As I, as I see fit. Now, I usually also have multiple sources at once so that I cross-reference all of them. Uh, so this, this, for example, this Lippincott's would be like my primary, my primary reading resource. It's got real, real text, prose, pictures, etc. But when it comes to making cards, a lot of times a review book, or even better, something like First Aid, which is really uh, granular, is a, is a great way to capture all the high-yield stuff and also have information that's fact ready. So let me give an example for, for a card I might make. So I'm at this step here, alpha keto glutarate dehydrogenase complex, and I can think of a couple things that I might want to might wanna remember, such as what is the reaction that's catalyzed? So alpha keto glutarate to succinyl CoA. Uh, what are the activators or inhibitors? Now, I've already ha I already have a card for the entire citric acid cycle pathway. So, something that usually shows up in questions and things that I might be asked to remember are what are the activators or inhibitors of this. So, I'll come up and I'll make a card. Now, you'll see the format. I have the front and the back, question, answer. And then I usually append tags. So, for example, I'm using metabolism. TCA cycle. I might also put in first, you can already see I have it, first aid, so I know the source that it comes from. And I use I usually use clear, unambiguous uh, formatting that I try to keep as consistent as possible. And it depends on the subject. And so this is biochemistry. So I like to I've established this format inhibitors. And then so activated inhibitors. And then I'll put the thing that I care about. So in this case, it's called alpha keto, alpha keto glutarate dehydrogenase complex. You see, I just open up this little window. This is an HTML editor window, and I use this to add Greek symbols in there. So I put the code in HTML code for alpha, and then keto glutarate dehydrogenase complex. I'll close that out. There it is. Then I'll come down here, activators. So the activator is, actually there's only one, it's calcium inhibitors, it's NADH, and succinyl choline. Now, you'll also notice that I have a couple answers for this card. This is not the way that I usually like to operate. I prefer one answer for one question. So. I could have asked, you know, activator, alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase complex, and had only one answer, and that would have been calcium. But I'm trying to save time, and I've kind of gotten used to having multi-part answers and keeping pictures in my head. So this is acceptable. Usually, what I do to make it easier is I'll put in parentheses the number of things in the set, so that I don't go looking for more stuff than there really is and don't move on. So that's, that's kind of helpful. And then lastly, I like to incorporate an image. So here, I'll do a screen capture, clip, paste, take a look at the preview. That's what it looks like. Done. And that's a card.